<laughs> Tessa is right here, by the way. <laughs> there she is. Hi. Uh, <laughs> let's check in. <laughs> just being funny. Hey, Kevin. With, uh, Kevin right now. What are we seeing? Hey, guys. You're right. A lot of that precipitation is moving out. But, you know, we talked two days ago there was a, a tornado outbreak across the Deep South. 27 reports of tornadoes. And now for the second day in a row, over the last 24 hours, a 33 uh, reports of tornadoes across the Deep South. Here's that system affecting us. There's the uh, front lifting through the area and taking most of the precipitation out of it. We're just about done with all the precip out there right now. Here's the storm system and the strong to severe thunderstorms moving in the Florida and the southeast United States. All these little icons that you see are the tornado reports. Again, over the last 24 hours, been there are 33 reports of tornadoes, and there are at least two deaths, and there may be more down there from that as well. As we look at live Doppler radar, look at we are dry. Other than some mist or some drizzle, maybe a passing shower through the day, that's all we're talking about. A lot of this day is now going to be dry. The only potentially problematic areas will be up across those northern counties there. Oceana, Nuego, Macosta, Montcalm, officially under a winter weather, weather advisory until 9 o'clock because they have the most mix of precipitation and maybe some icing up there. But the rest of us have actually been seeing temperatures rise over the last few hours. Look at that heavy snow that's on the north side of this system. Some of those places will pick up a foot. And, of course, there were blizzard warnings with that behind this system over the last couple of days. Look at this. Along and south of I-84, we've got temperatures from Mendon to Fulton to Kalamazoo at 40 degrees right now. We're 37 in Hastings, 39 in Allegan. Uh, we're in the 30s across a lot of the area. Northern Kent County just above the freezing mark at 33. And then we're 32 there in Big Rapids, 33 in Fremont. These are some of the outlying locations where that had that more of the icing or the mix. So some of these outlying locations may have a little more problematic areas there because of that and those temperatures being down around the freezing mark. But most of our Fox 17 viewing area in pretty good shape. So that certainly is good news. Uh, today, cloudy, windy, maybe some light rain or some drizzle, particularly this morning. Uh, highs may eke up to about 40, 42 degrees. We'll have a strong south to southwest wind at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. As we look at our future track model and we go through the animation, you can see lots of cloud cover across the area. As we get into tonight, we may start to see some snow showers in here as the colder air comes in and we start to see the lake effect kick in. Watch what happens as we go through Friday. You can see with that southwest wind, the lake effect snow showers, which will go Friday, Friday night into Saturday, Saturday night into Sunday, and should start to wrap up by about midday on Sunday, but not before it drops a fair amount of snow across portions of our Fox 17 viewing area. It's going to be the lake effect variety. Our forecast for today again, we officially have that winter weather advisory out through 9 o'clock this morning for our northern counties. That's where most of the icing has been, only about a tenth and maybe two tenths of an inch up there. Then the cold air and the lake effect component will kick in from tonight all the way through Sunday about midday. We think the heaviest snow is going to fall along and west of US 131 and to the north and west of Grand Rapids. There's a very good reason for that. These arrows represent the flow. We're going to see a predominant southwesterly flow, which will set up the heaviest snow over that three day time frame from South Haven to Holland to Muskegon to Hart to Fremont to western Kent County, where we think about four to eight inches will fall over that three day period across the Grand Rapids metro area and that next area of blue about three to six inches. You get on that outer band of blue, it's about two to four. You get even further away from that. You're only talking about one to two inches in those areas that have no color in them. We'll see very little to no snow. So that's where we're going here over the next several days. As we look at our super seven day planner, then 42 degrees today, 35 tomorrow. Let's look at that uh, forecast uh, model and you can see that's a low pressure area. As we go through Friday, look at the lake effect snow just continues to pour off Lake Michigan for Friday, Friday night, Saturday, Saturday night. As we get into Sunday, it's still going on, but then it will eventually start to shut down as we go through the day on Sunday, uh, but not before leaving uh, those snow totals that we just told you about. Cooler temperature as well. As you can see, we'll be in the mid to upper 20s as we get into the early to middle portion of next week. And if we go beyond the scope of this seven day forecast, look at that big area of purple. That is a 90% chance of temperatures below normal the week of December 22nd through the 28th. The warm air is going to be out in Southern California. So any precip we get during that week, it is going to be snow. That is a look at our forecast. We get an update on traffic at 650. Here's Rob.